It's not unusual for WEAR TV to be broadcasting about the need for blood. Seven minutes is all it takes to save a life. And it's but for nearly two decades, WEAR has used its influence in the Pensacola community to make an impact on our blood supply by hosting regular blood drives at the station. Well, I've lived in this community all my life since I was four years old, and uh, it seems like we never go three or four weeks without hearing why it's so important. Some new thing has happened. Uh, there is a new shortage, and uh, it couldn't be easier. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Morning meteorologist Christian Garman and anchor Jared Willits often roll up their sleeves. We do a lot of blood drives at Channel 3. Uh, we do them consistently every year, and every time we do them, we have a lot of regular people come by. The regulars, and they say hi, it's good to see them again, and always new people. It's, it's always gratifying to see how many people come and donate blood. WEAR Promotions Manager Kathy Dunnigan won several awards from the blood banking industry for coordinating these drives. Just knowing that it's there when it's needed is incredibly special. Um, it's just... You hate to think of if the supplies weren't there. January is National Blood Donor Month. The need for blood really hit home when anchor Sue Strong's nephew required transfusions to help fight cancer. I've known him since he was a baby, so that's near and dear. But, but because of uh, the way his cancer has been going, he's had to get quite a few transfusions. Um, so yes, I do know the impact. For the past several years, Kia Autosports has given one lucky blood donor a car during a WEAR blood drive. I feel it gets better and better every year. We're able to do more promos, we're able to broadcast it more and get more blood donors into the blood centers. People like 100 gallon donor Packy Mitchell. He gives platelets every two weeks. It's not bait, it's God given and that's it and, and you know there's a need for it every day. And, uh, you know, I urge people to, to get involved because uh, it really makes you feel good, you know, you're saving lives. The blood supply is very important to us all and people don't think about it, but if there's an accident or there's something that happens to a family member, the blood supply needs to be there and that requires that all of us give blood. Over the years, the WEIR blood drive has evolved from vein drain. It's cute, it rhymes. To a regular community event that has helped save hundreds of lives. I'm Nancy Gay reporting.